Hi, my name is Chloe and I am a product manager at Discord, but you may know me as the girl who quit TikTok. But today I'm bringing someone who also just quit his job. Kevin, come show the news! Hello. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin. After five years being a software engineer at Twitch, I just quit. Yay! And I feel like I just quit Twitch too because I feel like I have been an honorary employee at Twitch since I've been visiting so much due to Kevin. Fun fact, we actually met through Twitch, so I've had a lot of memories at the Twitch office. <laughs> and as for why I left Twitch and where I'm going next? Well, actually, we're gonna talk about that later. But first, we gotta bring you along our last day at the Twitch office. I went too, so it was my last day as well. So let's do that first. Look at all these commuters. It's a race to the top. Do you know where we're going? No. Secret tunnel. It's an avatar. Yeah. Yo, this is quite the commute. We're out here hustling. More like having fun. We're on the grind. No cap. On God. Oh no. What have you become? <laughs> no, oh, I tripped. We made it to the Twitch office. everyone, we're here, and it is Kevin's last day in the office. How do you feel, Kevin? I feel like today's my last day in the office. <laughs> it's very exciting. It feels like the most last day of all last days. What do you want to do today as your last day? Eat a Twitch cookie. They're the best cookies. We'll do that. And I would also like to play Smash. Do you have a lot of work today? I have work to do. We will go show you around Twitch. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Fight! This way. I know what I'm doing. I've been here a billion times. I work here as a food eater. Hi. <laughs> I got this snack. It's my favorite snack, maybe ever. But it's my favorite snack in the office for sure. It is premium quality, minimally processed popcorn. Malaysian pink salt. Himalayan <laughs> popcorn with Himalayan pink salt. How'd you get that wrong? You're a popcorn fiend, Kevin. Okay, go enjoy your last good popcorn. Well, I'm probably gonna grab a second back later today, too. <laughs> you can grab four more. Hi, y'all. Kevin just booked me a meeting room so that I can take my team meeting. I have a meeting right now for an hour, and then my friend Ivan's gonna come over for lunch, and then I got a couple more meetings to get through, and hopefully end the day a little bit early since it's Kevin's last day, and I want to make sure he gets some time to spend around. We want to tour the office a little bit and show you around. Definitely want to go to the game room. There's a lot of smash, smashing, smashers. A lot of melee smash players out and about in the game room. Meeting time, meeting time. All right, so I know you're like Chloe. What are you even doing in all these meetings all day long? Very good question. So let me tell you. A lot of people think I'm a project manager, but that's actually very different from being a product manager. As a product manager, the one thing you really have to get right is understanding who your customer is and what they really want. This is called user empathy. And you get this by doing a lot of user interviews, which you can learn more about from today's sponsor, Dovetail. Dovetail is the customer research platform that helps you understand what your customers really want. Typically, this entails setting up a lot of calls with customers and compiling your findings, which gets very manual and time-consuming real fast. But with Dovetail, all you gotta do is upload your interview clips, which then get automatically transcribed. And then you can use your powerful suite of tools to organize your research, categorize and mark up your notes, and easily find insights to highlight to your team or inform your product strategy and roadmap. The way Dovetail organizes everything helps you get to the bottom of what people want faster. So try out Dovetail today for free with my unique link down below. Thank you to Dovetail for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. It's Roland, the goon. Are you joining us for lunch? Sure. Let's do it. We're waiting for our friend to come. His name is Ivan. Oh, he's not just outside. I saw some Asian just like standing. Oh, there he is! Oh, oh it's gonna walk. I know, right? I need your help for what? A minute. Yes, yes, yes. So please help me figure out if I can park here or actually not because this is like really confusing. You cannot park here, unfortunately. It's no stopping, so you have to move. It has to be a really good photo. I <laughs> Amazing, great work. We made it. Let's go. Let's just finally go to lunch. Come through, Ivan. Kevo. All right. Hey, 
I have two cookies and we're gonna get a third. Ivan got it too. This is the cookies. lemon one, right? Lemon white yeah. chocolate? That's my favorite. All right, everyone. I want to introduce you to some Twitch staff and friends. I'm Reina. I am a front-end engineer. I'm actually on the same team as Kevin. Mm -hmm. I used to be a classical violinist. And we have special friend Scott, actively a musician. Actively, but also working in program management uh, in e-commerce here in the city. So I play as often as I can and still still keep it fun. Hello, I'm Mandy. Um, I'm a UX designer here at Twitch. She's my only successful referral. <laughs> <laughs> I'm visiting Chloe uh, in San Francisco, all the way from Boston. So I was the music director of uh, Assassin's Creed, and if you played video games like Final Fantasy, you probably have heard me playing the piano throughout the game as part of the original soundtrack. So glad to be here with gorgeous dinner and gorgeous people. Yes. Ask me in the office. Ask me as an employee. Hello, it is after lunch and we're going to get some secret ice cream, and it's in this corner. Da -da -da -da. Here it is. Oh my god, there's secret Hot Pockets too. <laughs> Lactate? Oh. There's nothing in there. Vanilla bean. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, honey. Vanilla bean. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Bok Choy boy, back at it again for the Twitch office. Hey, BCB. Woo! BCB. Hey. Hello, this is our 6v6 game rooms. Six because. Overwatch was a thing, but it's no longer a thing. So you can see we have Twitch gaming chairs. Sometimes, well, that's where you work, right? Like, that's where yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> work hard, work really hard. I just found out that these computers aren't really working anymore because they they're not set up properly. Yeah, I mean, you can look at that. No, that's like just an up and coming game. It's what all the kids are playing these days. Usually, like Fridays during happy hour, people would come down here to play together. Yeah, I remember a lot of people used to play League. Yeah, League. TFT. So these PCs are stronger because they had VR hooked up to it. I'll show you the uh, other game room, the other big game room. We have foosball, we have a really big orange couch. We got this couch, I think, for one of the company holidays. Oh, we got some board games in the corner over there. I'm mostly here for Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube developed by HAL Laboratories in 2001. Oh my God. Killer Queen is the most fun arcade game ever. And there's also Ski Ball in the corner, and no one likes it because it's super loud. Yeah. No, I'm not yeah, good at ski ball. How do you feel? It's uh, the last hour of your last day. Yes. Oh! I wish I were playing melee right now. This is really awkward yes. when everyone's looking. <laughs> Everyone at is staring. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna miss this this scene? I will. I'll miss it. I mean, I'll be here when I'm back in SF. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Never see you again. Bye. It's time to go. It's time to go. Time to say goodbye. I don't know how the tune goes. Last time walking through these stairs as an employee. Wow. Closed out my chapter almost five years. Crazy. Now where are we off to, Papa? Now we're off to dinner. Dinner. We're going to what's it called? Kiraku. Kiraku. With Josh and Sadie. We're treating them out to a very lovely dinner in Berkeley because they are so gracious in housing us during this time. Just like how they did last time. Yes. For the last Discord on-site vlog. Let's diagonally cross. You don't have that a lot in other cities. You have oh, three seconds, that's you're gonna that's die. Right. You're gonna die. No, I'm going to die. I have fear of crossing streets. Chloe thinks that as soon as it turns to zero seconds, the car will just run her right over. Yeah, fair game for them to run me over. So much commuting. It's good, good for the soul. It gives you a space and a break to turn off from work as yeah. you transition to the next part of your life. Speaking of transitions, we're transitioning to dinner. Bye. Yeah! yeah. They're here with Josh and Sadie. Party time. Lots of celebration. Sadie, I must say, your fit today is fire. Thank you. It is I really like your Look at too. this. We're matching. Look at this. Over matching. Look at this. So cute. We are here at Kiraku. Kiraku is a local Japanese restaurant in Berkeley, California. They specialize in yakitori and sashimi dishes. Wow, you're natural. <laughs> that was perfect. Hi, Yuki. Yuzu! 
You're kind of derpy. Uh, uh, and we're back. Kevin, I am so proud of you and this milestone. The people want to know, why did you quit Twitch? So, I've always been interested in game development, but was always a little put off by it because I've always heard horror stories of worse hours and worse pay, but I've always wanted to tell a story through games and seeing Chloe pursue her content journey has been very inspiring to me and made me want to just jump in and go for it myself. Yay, I'm so happy for you. But this also means he's going to be poor and then I got to work overtime. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a pay cut, but honestly, Amazon stock's kind of tanking anyway, so it's like, eh. So I'm going to still be coding either way, but it's pretty different between software engineering and game development. Do those differences make it hard for you in the interview process? A little bit. So game development interviews has a lot more math, mostly linear algebra, so I had to like brush out my old college textbook and re-review all of those things like vectors and cross products and dot Dude. products. It's been so long since I've heard those things. Yeah. That was very traumatizing though. There's also a lot more behavioral interview questions because game development has a lot more cross collaboration with other cross-functional teams like artists and designers. There's also fewer questions I would say on like just hardcore data structures and algorithms coding questions, which okay. is nice. Those are annoying. Talk about all the companies that you interviewed with. So I interviewed at a few tech companies still, Google and Figma. For game development companies, I just applied everywhere that was around our area pretty much. Had a lot of intro chats with a lot of them, but because I didn't have direct game experience, we didn't get very far in the interview processes there. In the end, I went through most of the interview process with two smaller game dev studios, Riot and Naughty Dog. After everything's all said and done, I'm very happy to announce Drum roll. that I will be a gameplay engineer on the Valorant team at Riot Games. Yay! Yay! Yeah, the interview process was very lengthy, but we got there. But you know what's crazy about the whole interview process at Riot? What? They don't allow visitors in their campus right now because of COVID. So my on-site interview was a virtual on-site interview. I haven't even been on campus yet still. I have though. I actually worked in gaming many years ago and I'm there for a business meeting. The Riot campus is really cool. Nice. I'm super excited to finally be back in the office again and with my coworkers. I really miss that. Kevin likes COVID that. Day. Yeah, I like just having random chats with everyone, just like passing by. Yeah, I'm like a remote working girl. So I'll be in the office Tuesdays through Thursdays because Riot's doing a hybrid work from home situation. So we'll see what that LA commute life is like. I'm so excited for you, Kevin. I'm very excited to meet all of the other Riot employees there. I heard their culture is really fun. I know you're chasing after your dream and the pay is definitely a lot lower than tech, but we're gonna work through that. We'll budget, we'll figure it out. To all the aspiring software engineers and game developers, I hope you found this useful or insightful. And for everyone else, I hope you've just found it entertaining. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Thank you to the Unique Liz who've been supporting me all this time. And thank you to Dovetail for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time. Bye! Do you guys want to have no, any last no, words for Kevin? You're making this weird. This is cringe, Chloe. I'm trying to You're making this cringe. You're thank me five years from now.